little bit more of a rest. You can come down onto your hands like this. If you're able to stretch the arms, the hands and the arms forward and lower the chest to the ground, you can stay here. You can keep looking forward, bringing the chest all the way down. And there's an option to rest on the forehead or the chin. So wherever you are, we're going to stay for 10 breaths. And you might like to change and go deeper into the pose after a few breaths. So you choose whatever your body wants to do today. No need to overstretch. And when you're ready, you can slide onto your belly, toes pointing back, hands beside the ribs, and inhale to baby cobra. And just lift the chin, chest, shoulders back, elbows can stay bent, and then exhale back down. And just do that four more times, following your own breath. Inhale. Exhale. Without pushing into the hands too much, inhale, chin, chest, like you're peeling yourself up off the ground, shoulders back, and then exhale slowly, ribs come down, chest comes down, chin comes down. Inhale, exhale, once more. And done and then tuck your toes under, push into the hands. We're going to come up and back into downward facing dog, Adamuka, Svanasana, hands shoulder width, feet hip width. You can bend your knees, walk out the feet, take five deep breaths. And then step the right foot forward towards your right hand. So you can lift up the knee and try to step it all the way up. If the foot doesn't make it up, you can walk it up yourself. And then lower the left knee down. Left knee is behind the hip, so you feel a nice stretch here. And then you can come to Anjali Asana, low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, the hands back. Inhale, exhale. Two more times. And then push into the fingertips, lift the back knee. And we'll come to crescent lunge or high lunge. So you're on the tippy toes of the back foot. Push into the right foot for balance. Knee and ankle are in line or slightly behind. And inhale to come up. And then exhale, sink the hips down. And then we're going to hold for 10 breaths. You choose whether you want hands on hips, palms together, or hands to the sky. And five more slow, deep breaths. The sides of the body are long, the hips are sinking down towards the ground, shoulders relaxed. Two more deep breaths. Well done. We're going to come into twisted high lunge. So the left hand to the mat and the right hand to the sky for 10 breaths. If this is too much, just drop your back knee and if you're still in twisted lunge, just in twisted low lunge. So you choose whichever one works better for you for 10 breaths. Trying to bring the, the right shoulder back. You can feel the twist here in the side of the body. And 
then back to downward facing dog for a five slow deep breaths. Then look forward, left foot steps up towards your left hand and give it a hand up if it needs to. Right knee comes down. Wriggle the right knee back if you don't feel the stretch in the hip, in the quads. Inhale, reach the arms up, Anjane Asana. Exhale, circle. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Three more times. And then right hand, left hand on the fingertips, lift the right knee, get ready for high lunge. So the left knee stays bent, you're on the tippy toes of the right foot, nice distance between the feet, and then inhale, come up. Shoulders and hips are kind of in line, and lengthen the side body, and you choose, hands can be reaching up, palms together, or hands on the hips. Relax the face, push into the front foot for balance, open the chest, stay for our five more slow deep breaths. Done. and then twisted lunge, high or low, whichever you prefer. You're trying to stack the shoulders, get that twist into the torso. You can look to the ground, look straight ahead or up to your hands. Two more breaths, all done. Then place both hands on the mat, step back plank pose. Lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. In downward dog, walk your feet forward. And then push into the left hand. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left leg, or you can just reach towards it. And you can stay here, looking towards the ground, or you can bring the right shoulder forward and peep under the left arm. And then back to the center. Five breaths on the other side. You can stay here or twist. To downward facing dog, walk the feet back. Inhale to plank, exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra, exhale, extended child's pose. So the feet are together, the knees are wide, and Walk the arms forward, you can let the forearms rest and the forehead to the ground. If it's not too comfortable to bring the head to the ground, just grab a cushion or a pillow and bring the forehead there. Let the shoulders relax, let the belly relax. Take 10 slow deep breaths.
Inhale, lift the head, come up onto your knees. You can walk your knees forward onto your bum. We'll come to bridge pose for 10 breaths. So the feet are hip width, close to your bum. And you can either keep the hands by your sides and use that for support as you push into the feet to lift the hips. Or if you want to go a little bit higher, you can walk the shoulders in. Maybe interlace the fingers. Keep the chin slightly away from the chest so you can feel a little gap here behind your neck. So you're not squeezing or crunching on the neck too much. But you're trying to bring the lift the heart up, lift the chest towards your head. So literally your heart is getting closer to your brain. Two or three more breaths, wherever you are. Slowly release the hands. Roll the spine back down. Whew. Take a deep breath. And then we're going to come to a variation of shoulder stand. Um, the feet are together, the knees are wide, so it's like this and you can do a little mini one if you like by bringing a cushion underneath your lower back and holding up like this or you can use your um, fists underneath your lower back and hold up like that or you can try to come up all the way by pushing into the upper arms and the elbows. Support the lower back. Whoop. Then bring the feet together and the knees wide. Make sure you're not choking yourself. Lift the chin. And start to close the knees. We're going to come back to Halasana, Plow Pose. So your knees can stay bent and you can stay here. Or you can straighten the legs towards the ground. Keep support on your lower back. Unless your feet are touching the ground, you can extend the arms to the mat. Try to walk the toes away from your body if you're Toes are on the ground. Then try to bend the knees slowly, slowly roll the spine down. Rock the knees side to side and round in little circles. And then hold on to the ankles and the outsides of the feet for happy baby. Ten deep breaths here. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep the face relaxed. Try to Pull the feet out with the soles of the feet facing up to the ceiling. And if you want to get deeper, press the tailbone to the ground.
two more deep breaths. Bring the feet and the knees together. Inhale the forehead to the knees as long as you don't have any neck issues. If you do, just bring the knees in. No worries about the head. And we'll hold for five breaths. And slowly roll back down. Little baby bridge, so just push into the feet, lift the hips a tiny bit. And exhale back down. Once more. Walk the feet to the edges of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, drop both knees to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop to the right. Inhale, and then if you like, turn your head the opposite direction of the knees. Inhale, exhale. And then when you're ready, back to the center, just stretch the legs up, roll out the ankles, give your legs a little shake. And then you're ready for the Shavasana. Hopefully you take the time, even if it is two minutes, just to let your body be still and soak up the benefits of all that movement. Legs out to the side, arms out to the side, palms facing up to the ceiling. And your chin is tucked in, so the neck is long. Shoulders relaxed. Oh, take some really slow, deep breaths. Let your body be still and rest. Thank you for doing this.